Right then, hi guys and welcome to another sales update. So, in today's video I've gone for a little bit of a different layout. I've actually ordered all of the sales in price order from low to high. So if you want to see the best sales that I've had over the past couple of weeks or so, then please do stay till the end because the best ones are going to be at the end. I have included a few Amazon sales as well, uh, which I don't normally do, but I thought it's been so long since I've shared any Amazon sales. I'll share a few Amazon sales from the last couple of weeks as well. So without further ado, we'll get straight on with this. But before we do, don't forget, if you like the video, please do give it a like down below. It really helps me out a lot. And also, if you'd like to uh, comment down below, feel free to do so as well. Anyway, without further ado, we'll get on with the first sale, which is this uh, Lesney Dark Green Ford Zodiac. Uh, this is only a very small little die-cast toy, uh, toy car, not very big at all. I don't even know, maybe five, six, seven centimetres long, hardly anything, very, very small. And yeah, I got £9.64 for this one, so quite happy with that little sale there. So next is this uh, Strictly Come Dancing, the best of Strictly Come Dancing, Lens Grand Finale, uh, just brand new and sealed DVD, nothing special, obviously a lot of you will know, I pick up a lot of sealed media for FBA, and I love dealing with it, it's very very easy, um, don't have any trouble selling it, really really happy uh, with you know dealing with it and selling it, uh, just all round great thing to sell in my opinion and uh, yeah i got nine pound 88 for this one i believe i paid a pound for this in a charity shop not too long ago actually this sold pretty quick so yeah quite happy with that obviously all these strictly come dancing dvds aren't just guaranteed to make you a bit of money this one was obviously something that was maybe a little bit more special or a little bit more valuable maybe other ones aren't going to be as valuable but certainly this one i managed to achieve almost a tenner on so i was quite happy with that Next is something actually quite nice. These are, I found these in a bottom of an auction job lot, just kind of a bonus really. Nothing, you know, it, the cost into them is negligible. I can't even, I can never say that. The cost into them is negligible. I think that's how you say it. Um, so yeah, I've hardly got any money into these. Basically just a bonus uh, from the auction. And yeah, I got 10 quid for these free posts. These are just little uh, vintage Joe 90 badges. I don't know what Joe 90 is, however, I'm assuming it's some sort of secret agent TV show that was on, uh, you know, in the 60s. Um, but yeah, these are just like cool little badges. I bundled them up as the five. It seemed like you could get about £2 each, so I bundled them up as the five for a tenner. And uh, yeah, lo and behold, after a little bit, someone ended up paying me the tenner for them. So very, very happy, happy with that one. Nice little sale there. So next is something that I got from like a household job lot. Uh, I, generally, there's two sides to the job lots I buy. There's either like more vintage job lots and then there's household job lots. Household job lots I generally pay between about two and five pound a box for, with some exceptions. You know, sometimes I might pay a little bit more for a box if it has some decent household items in. But then the other side of my business is more of a vintage job lots that I might pay anywhere up to 20, 25, 30 pound a box for because there's more, you know, with better quality items in there. Anyway, this was just in a household job lot. It isn't anything special, it's just a ceramic fruit bowl, but I did think it looked quite nice for what it was. And I just whacked it on for 12 quid plus my postage. And yeah, after a while it ended up selling, so I was quite happy with that one. Nice little sale there. You can see it's like 29 centimeters long or something like that. So uh, yeah, quite, you know, fairly big thing. And yeah, quite a nice little sale that I was happy to see that go. Because um, obviously, um, you know, I just took a punt on listing that. I didn't know whether it was going to go or not. I just completely made up a price. Um, so next is this Corgi Major Toys uh, horse box. I actually got this from a job lot of die cast that I showed in a haul video not too long ago from the charity shop and I paid £20 or something for the box I think and uh, yeah this came in it. This is the only item I accepted an offer on in the entire sales update this week. I know that last week I accepted like in my sales update there was like most things I had accepted offers in 
uh, offers on but in this sales update this is the only one and I accepted a pretty decent offer of $12.99 plus postage so I was more than happy with that you know $12.99 from $14.99 I'll take that as an offer um, it's better than getting all those low ball offers all the time anyway so it was a decent enough offer and I ended up accepting that so that just goes towards paying for that little job lot of die cast so I'm quite happy with that next was another job lot from the charity shop I got a load of vintage sort of late 70s early 80s uh, Cindy stuff. Cindy stuff does really well. Cindy trendy dolls are the ones you want to look out for. Um, I think I might have had one before or I thought I had one but it turned out it wasn't one. I'm not sure. Um, but I have had some Cindy dolls before and you do get some good money for them. As I say, especially if they are a certain one. Um, and there's obviously things you want to look out for on them, but I'm no expert. I'm not going to pretend I'm an expert in Cindy stuff, but there are, you know, little things on the dolls that you want to be looking out for that will give you an indication that they're worth a lot of money. Um, but yeah, this was just a horse. Generally for these Cindy horses, you get around this money. You can maybe push a little bit more. Maybe I could have pushed maybe closer to 20 on this, but I was happy with a 15 quid plus the post. Uh, and yeah, this is quite a nice one actually, but unfortunately you can see, is it there, the actual, um, what's that called, like foot holder or reins or, I don't know, I, I think it's like a foot holder or something. Um, I'm not a horse rider, so I don't know the actual terminology, but I'm just going to call it a foot holder. Um, and yeah, or a foot clasp or something. Um, but that is actually broken off, so that was a bit of a shame, um, but it didn't really detract too much value from it, and someone paid the 15 quid fairly quickly so I'm quite happy with that one as you can tell now we're going to start getting into slightly higher value items so uh, yeah definitely stick around for the rest of the update because it's going to get a little bit more exciting um, opposed to just the you know £10 items so yeah that's that one quite happy with that sale next is a brown Dun & Co uh, Trollby and I've also thrown Fedora in there it is kind of more of a Trollby this one however I just put Fedora in there just to gain a little bit more traction as a keyword because it's not necessarily completely outright lying because you can kind of say it's a Trollby or Fedora there's not too much difference between the two however there is somewhat of a difference uh, and it's 100% wool this one um, and it's size medium or what I class as a size medium because it says 57 centimeters. It doesn't necessarily stay on the hat that it's a medium. However, 57 centimeters gem going on a general sense is usually classed as a medium in hats anyway. So I'll put medium in there. And uh, yeah, quite a nice looking one this. I can't remember how much I paid for this. I know it was in a charity shop. It was either two or three quid. It wasn't more than three quid. So I was quite happy, you know, for 18.99 plus postage from two or three quid. I'll take that all day long. So a nice little sale there. Dun & Co are a make you want to be looking out for uh, in hats. It is kind of a bread and butter make. You know, you're probably going to get 15 20 quid for a hat not much more than 20 quid unless it's like a certain style of hat like maybe a vintage bowler hat or a vintage top hat or something like that you might get a little bit more Dun and Carl worth looking out for if you can get them you know pick them up for a couple of quid or something but yeah quite happy with that one um next is oh something i've had for ages you can tell because it's on my old background uh this you know green background uh this is a where i could put rare in the title i wouldn't do that these days but anyway vintage italian leather document bag satchel da -de -da, -de da i'm surprised it did take as long as it did to sell which i'm talking maybe over a year this took to sell um because i have literally had that back like i've not had that background for over a year now or something like that um, but I'm surprised that took as long as it did to sell because I've got quite a nice title there. There's a few keywords in there, so yeah, don't know. Maybe I, maybe I needed to improve the photos or something on that for it to sell a bit quicker. So it's always worth you know double checking your old listings and redoing them if you have the time to do it. I mean, I'd love to go through and re-photograph everything, but I just don't have the time at the moment. I'm just too busy generally putting more items on. So yeah, anyway, I got 18.99 plus post for this. Bit of a fail this one. I paid a fiver for it. Now it wouldn't be a fail in terms of a margin, not necessarily anyway. Um, but because of how long it sat for, it's kind. I'm kind of classing it as a bit of a fail because 
I've had five quid into this for now over a year and it's just sat there. I, I would have been better putting my fiver into something else that would have sold quicker. So it's a bit of a fail that one, but still it was an okay margin on the, on the item at the end of the day. Another Amazon sale here. This was something I got. I picked up when I was with Caroline and Phil in my local town. Uh, brand new and sealed official DVSA uh, complete uh, theory test kit DVD. Uh, twenty four ninety nine. Really, really happy with that. Paid one fifty. No, was it in it? I think the DVDs were one fifty, but then for some reason, for that singular one, he charged me seventy five p or something. I don't know whether it was a sale, but I swear it was. Yeah, it might. Anyway, it was maximum one fifty, but it might have been seventy five p in a sale or something, if I remember. Um, but yeah, still quite happy with that. Even if it was one fifty, one fifty into twenty four ninety nine. I'll take that all day long. Lovely little margin there. So, yeah, quite happy with that one. Next was something I got in an auction job lot. And I keep banging on about collector's plates. I say to people, you know, on, on the uh, streams and stuff and on videos, on sales updates, you know, there is money in collector's plates. You just need to get the right ones. And this is one of these ones. Uh, it's a Royal Dalton, the Snowman collection, a gift collection plate. And it's actually like the motorbike, mot motorbike ride, it's called. Uh, snowman's motorbike ride really nice plate this i really do like it i think i think it's got some appeal and i can tell why it is a little bit more valuable this one and yeah i got full asking price of 21.99 plus postage um i might have had that on slightly higher like maybe a month or so ago when i first got it maybe i reduced the price slightly maybe i didn't i'm not 100 percent sure um but it just seems a little bit of an odd price at 21.99 but maybe i did price it at that um, but usually I'd either price it at like 20 or maybe 25 or if I was going in, in between I'd go 22.99 um, But yeah, anyway, maybe I did just price it that nice look at little item that really really happy with it As I say it was in an auction job lot probably if I worked out it'd be a quid or something like that So I was quite happy with the margin on that nice little sale there uh, next was a little bit of RA, or well, I should say online arbitrage actually. Uh, yeah, I got this for, I think it was like 11 99 And you can see here, um, it says 26 quid. Well, actually, I've cropped my screen slightly on OBS. And to the right-hand side of what you can see, I can actually see £26 plus £2 shipping. Now, I don't know why that £2 shipping is on there, because I do FBA. So you would expect that just to say free shipping. But anyway, I either got 28 quid for it. Well, it says here, sales proceeds. Again, you won't be able to see this, but sales proceeds, 28 quid. So I'm assuming that was 28 quid. Uh, and as I say, I got this for 11.99, so not an amazing margin. But I did buy a few of these at a time, and I have sold a few of these now. Um, I generally do, you know, if, in all honesty, it's a mixed bag with OA for me. I do okay with certain items and then I I completely fail on others and then others like this one I'm kind of in between on. I wouldn't say that this is necessarily the best route for people to go down and doing kind of this, this kind of RA or OA. Uh, for me personally, as I say, some items I fail on, some items I do okay on. This item was kind of in between. Would I go out of my way and buy these in bulk, like in real, real bulk, you know, in 20, 30, 40, 50 of them uh, to sell them for that sort of margin? Not really because the sales rank isn't that great. Um, but yeah, it was a nice little experiment. It was Doctor Who. I like Doctor Who, as you know, so nice little experiment, but I wouldn't say I made a lot of money on those, so yeah. But still, a nice little experiment, nice little sale. Uh, next was this Fundamentals of Nursing uh, book that I got for 3 99 in a big job lot from the charity shop one day. Got a job lot of maybe 12 or 13 books. I did pay about... For, for the 12 or 13, I must have paid about 50 quid or something, because they were like £4 each or some, something like that, and it was 3 or £4 each. But this one was 3 99 I can remember that. And I got 44 99 so considering I got like the 12 bucks for like 50 quid, and I almost cleared 50 quid on this one in turnover, um, you know, I'm happy with that really, just for that one book. So yeah, quite happy with that one. Uh, I have been getting into books a little bit, but not to any sort of standard. You know, I'm sending in a few each time I do a shipment, but 
I don't do loads of book summons in FBA, just the odd one. So obviously now we've come to the last item, the most expensive item, and it's something I've actually talked about um, on the channel a couple of times in the last couple of weeks, um, and it is actually this Mr. Bean, the complete collection of the classic TV series. Um, I didn't actually know they did five series, because there's only 14 episodes or something, so that would mean there was only like three or four episodes a season, but anyway, I don't know, I have to look into that, uh, into the series layout, but yeah, 89.99. it was brand new and sealed, I believe I got it from a charity shop, but I'm a little bit hazy on that, I can't remember which one, but I feel like I did get this from a charity shop, I don't remember sniping this or anything like that, I remember getting this from some sort of charity shop, and I believe it was four ninety nine, three ninety nine, four ninety nine, and I was quite happy into ninety quid. So yeah, really, really happy with that one. Um, and yeah, nice little sale to end the uh, sales update on. So I'll leave it there, guys. I won't ramble any longer. If you did like the video, then as always, like it down below. Throw me a comment down below, and if you would like to support the channel in any way, you can do so with the Amazon affiliate links down below. So I'll leave it there, guys. Thank you very much for joining me and I'll see you very soon.